Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm really excited because I want to show you guys this 2017 Ford Focus ST. This one is in Oxford White. I've always loved the Focus ST. Thought they're really fun to drive, so I'm glad I get to show you guys today. But starting off in the front with, uh, sorry about my shadow, the sun's kind of at a weird angle. But uh, all STs have the blacked out headlights. This one is a ST1 because the ST2 and ST3 have the bi-xenon uh, swiveling projector headlight. And then we have just standard fog lights on all models. And then the ST has this really cool aggressive grille in the front. So you can see the front end looks really aggressive. I like the way it looks. You can see this one has some aftermarket upgraded wheels that the previous owner put on. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that style, but I guess it looks uh, it looks okay, I guess. And they stuck with the stock tire size, so it's 235, 40, 18. Excuse the airplane noises as per usual in all my videos. But you can see the side there. The bottom portion does not have that nasty black plastic that the normal Focus has. Instead, it's body colored on the ST, so it looks definitely a lot better. And it's easier to clean too. The body colored panel is a lot easier to clean than the plastic because the plastic starts getting crusty and then it's almost like it's stained for some reason. Coming to the back here, you can see we just have standard bulbs for the taillights. This one is the taillights from the Refresh 2015 and up have this style taillight. See, we have a standard turn signal, standard reverse light, and then a standard brake light. Looking at the back here, you can see we have a cool spoiler on the ST. Looks really good. Then we have the center exit exhaust right here, which is usually uh, black because people don't clean the soot off of it. So this one you can see is black. And then it does have a backup camera, which is really nice. Hatchback, all STs are hatchback. But uh, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's uh, powering this ST. All right guys, looking under the hood, you can see it has a nice hood liner up here. This is the 2.0 turbocharged four cylinder. It has 252 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. So some pretty impressive numbers. And this car only weighs in at about 31 to 3200 pounds. So not a very heavy vehicle. So this engine should be pretty quick. All right guys, coming up to the door. Just want to quickly show you guys the mirror. So you do have a nice turn signal here, but it's just a standard bulb and no puddle light on this one. I know if you get a titanium, you get a puddle light, which is nice. But uh, it does have smart key access. All of them have push button start and smart key access, even for the ST1. Uh, no sort of keyless entry pad, so it'd be kind of cool if they included that, but let's go ahead and open it up here. And you can see on the ST, you have a nice soft touch up here. You have this cool bright piece right here, and then some pretty soft material right there as well. You also have power up down for all four windows, which is really nice because a lot of even modern day Fords don't have that. Then you have a ST little sill plate right there. No power adjustments for the seat, just manual adjustments because it is a ST1, but the seats look very nice nonetheless. And let's say you don't like the Recaros because they're too tight. Well, if you get an ST1, these are really comfortable, nice, soft seats. All right, guys, to start it up, just uh, put your foot on the clutch, push the button right there, starts up, and then you wanna make sure you're neutral. Oh, looking at the gauge closer, you can see it goes up to 180 and it's covered in these cool red gauges for uh, specific to the ST. And you also have a pretty good amount of information you can go through here. Not anything too crazy, but it's definitely better than like the Fiesta ST because the Fiesta ST doesn't have much of anything in the middle here. But yeah, you can go through your settings, your driver assist stuff, everything like that. Uh, hill start assist is off. That's what keeps you from rolling back. But if you know how to drive manual, you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. It is kind of cool to have that uh, feature to turn it on or off. But um, look at the steering wheel here. It has perfect thickness in my opinion. It feels really good. It has perforations in the center portion and then it's just regular leather for the top and bottom. And it just feels really good and it has a little ST badge. So at least you know you're driving an ST. But this is the biggest downside to getting an ST1 is that you don't get the big screen. So this little screen, not only does it not look all that great and you have all these extra buttons, but if we put it in reverse, you activate reverse by going like this, boom. You can see the back of the camera only has that little bitty screen to work with. So it's kind of hard to see the backup camera too and then you don't get Apple CarPlay and all that good stuff. And then looking down here, all your audio controls for there, you do have a, uh, looks like you don't have Sirius XM radio on this one. You just have a standard AM and FM stereo. So that's another thing you miss out on. Again, not a huge deal for a lot of people. And if you look down here, we have manual climate controls, not dual zone like the higher end ones, but the manual works just fine. You see we have a 12 volt right here. We have our trash control, which if you press this twice, it activates sport mode. So I'll show you guys that. Press it twice, there's sport mode, and then if you hold it, you go like this and hold, it'll turn off uh, electronic stability control. 
So I'll let you uh, slide around or whatever you want to do. But we'll just turn that back on. We'll test out sport mode a little bit later. Probably doesn't do much of anything, but we'll test it out anyway. And then we have a nice dash. It is soft touch, which is pretty cool uh, considering this is an economy car. And you have these cool gauges up here as well. And you can see your boost pressure. See when I revved it up, it kind of went up a little bit. And we have just a standard mirror. I don't think you can get auto dimming on any focuses today. And uh, no sunglass holder. You have to get a sunroof to get the sunglass holder, which is kind of interesting. But I like not having the sunroof because I have a whole bunch of headroom. And then the lights are just standard. They're not LED. Again, if you get the sunroof, you get LEDs. So that's kind of weird that they chose to do it that way, but oh well. Now if we look over here, we do have illumination. That's nice. It is just a standard bulb, but we have illumination. And looking down here, obviously we have our six-speed manual, two cup holders, and an okay amount of storage, not a whole bunch. You do have a USB, an aux jack, and then a 12 volt. And let's go ahead and check out this glove box. Okay. Oh wow, there is a light in the glove box. That's impressive because a lot of modern Fords don't have lights in the glove box anymore. Let's go ahead and quickly check out the back seat and the trunk and then let's take this ST for a spin. All right guys, one thing that's cool about getting a hot hatch, that's what they call this kind of segment of vehicles, is that you do have back seats. Now I'm really tall and I have the seat all the way back so you can see there's not much leg room, but if you're shorter people, you'll be able to fit just fine back here. No center armrest though, so that's kind of unfortunate that they didn't include that. And then the backseat passengers have no sort of anything back here. No 12 volt, no air vents. So it is kind of stripped in the back seat, but at least you have a back seat if you need to move some people around. Hard touch up here, unlike the front, but you do have the soft touch right here. And then like I said, automatic up down for the windows. Let's go ahead and quickly check out the back. See, we have quite a bit of room back here to be honest. Um, this one, I, I don't know what happened to the sun or the like the cover that comes with it because I know focuses come with the cover So I don't know what happened with that, but it is a used car. So who knows? You have this uh, trunk liner right here. You can lift this up You got a spare tire and some extra storage you can put in there actually quite a bit of storage when you would really look at it So that's pretty good. You can put a lot of stuff in there. You can fold those seats down flat and overall, the trunk space is generally pretty good. And you have a little standard bulb over there to light up your trunk space. All right, guys, now let's get to my favorite part and let's take this ST4 spin. Let's first do a little wrap. <laughs> I know it has that like piped in noise, but it sounds so good that it's okay, in my opinion. I strongly recommend getting an aftermarket exhaust for your focus though, because this exhaust does not make much noise at all. All right, guys, I got you all set up on the GoPro. So let's go ahead and take this folks ST for a quick spin and see how it drives. Taking off is fairly easy. Should be an easy car for people to learn on if uh, it's like their first manual car or something like that. Got the Mustang over there. So far, one thing I'm noticing is that the suspension is a little bit harsh, but that is all because it is a sporty tuned suspension for good handling. So they're not focusing as much on comfort as they are on great handling. So suspension is a little bit bumpy. You will be kind of moving around a little bit. So if you like really, really cushy rides, it might not be the car for you, but if you like sporty rides, then this is the car for you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take off onto the street here. I'm gonna put it in a uh, double tap that, like I said, it puts in sport mode, so there we go. torque for sure you don't have to ring it out to get the power there's a lot of torque in the mid-range as you'd expect with a EcoBoost engine so let's go ahead and see how the suspension handles these bumps okay yeah so it's definitely a rougher suspension but that's part and due to um, the tires as well. It's not like a super beefy sidewall. Let's go ahead and see how it handles this one. Yeah. But at least it feels like it's, you know, solid. It doesn't feel like it's all loosey goosey and flying around. Let's see how 
right, so let's go ahead and try to get a couple of wide open throttles here. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of traffic. That's kind of annoying. That's really annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, lay back a little bit and see if we can get some gear shifts in. All right, here we go. <laughs> Brakes are pretty good. Let's see how it handles this corner. <laughs> I don't know what all that noise is back there. It's like something's like rolling around. But yeah, it pulls pretty good. It's definitely a lot of fun to drive. All righty. Actually, let's go around the block one more time. We didn't get a good feel. There's a lot of traffic. Okay, let's see if we can downshift for this corner. I don't know what all that noise is back there. Try to ignore the noise. It's kind of bothering me. So with used cars, there's always like some stuff that you don't really know about it or what's going on. Let's just do a second gear low speed pull just real quick. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, when you have a 270 pound feet of torque going through the front wheels, definitely uh, spin the tires a little bit. Handling is fantastic, of course, in a car like this. It's really darty, fun to drive. The steering ratio is actually really, really close together. So if you guys look at the steering wheel, see you barely turn it and look how much I'm turning. So I really like that part about it. Let's go ahead and do a little second gear downshift. Ah, that wasn't perfect. But yeah, definitely a fun car. I'd love to have a car like this as like a second car, you know, something fun, something that's not like crazy powerful, something that just has a nice fun amount of power. And you can tune these to be really fast, but again, you have to deal with it being front wheel drive and having that uh, traction loss. But overall, I'm really, I really like the ST. I'm glad I got to bring it to you guys. I love fun little sporty cars. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe. Stay tuned, if we ever get an RS in, I'll try to do a video on that, but I'm sure those are probably harder to come by. And I will see you in the next one.